Okay, first thing to do in this question is to draw a sketch of the shape that they give to you, which is the cube. And we've got to find length AC to start with, so we need to label some of these things. AC is that line there. These distances are all 10. So you need to spot that ABC is actually a right angled triangle. A, B, which is where the right angle is, and then C. So to find the length AC, it's the longest side, it's the hypotenuse on this right angled triangle. So that's 10 squared plus 10 squared square rooted. It's root 200. And if you root 200 on a calculator, it comes out to be 14.14. So that is the distance A to C. Okay, for part two, we're talking about the same shape still. Okay, so if we have a sketch, you could use the same sketch as before if you wanted to. We've got our A, B, C here. These sides are 10. And G is up here. So we're looking for that line. We've already worked out AC. And what we've actually got here is another right angle triangle. That is a right angle there because AC is along the ground effectively and that's a vertical line. So we've got a right angle triangle here. That's a triangle ACG. GC is 10. AC we worked out in the last question and that was root 200. We're trying to find the length AG. It's the longest side in the right angle triangle. So using Pythagoras, we square those two sides. And I'm using the root 200 because it's more accurate than the decimal. And root 200 squared is 200. Add on the 10 squared. That gives me 300. And I need to square root the 300. Do that on a calculator. You get 17.32, which is the answer for that part. Part C of the question, again, you'll need a drawing of the shape you're dealing with and they're asking now for the angle GAC that means start at G go to A end up at C and it's the angle between them it's that angle there so again we've looked at this triangle before this is a right angled triangle the triangle ACG we know that GC is 10 AG we've just worked out is root 300 and the angle we want is this angle down here. It's a right angle triangle. The angles here, over here we've got the opposite, up here we've got the hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So if we look at this, we've got form the triangle over here, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. We'll have sine of x opposite up here, which is 10, hypotenuse down here, which is root 300. So I need to do 10 divided by root 300 that will give me a decimal if you do that you should get 0 0.577 that's sine of x so now what we need to do is do shift sin of that number and if you do that you should get 35.3 degrees and that's the answer to part c okay final part then part four We've got to find the angle between GA, which is that long line, and EC, which is an equally long line in real life. They're the longest lines you can have inside that shape. And they meet right slap bang in the middle of that shape here. And we need the angle between those lines, which is actually going to be this angle here. We need a triangle. The triangle to use is this triangle here. If I call that point in the middle M for midpoint, the triangle I'm going to use is going to be the GCM triangle. GC we know is 10. GM is half of GA. And we worked out the length of GA earlier on in the question. That was root 300. So GM is half of GA. Half of root 300. Same down here. This one will be exactly the same. It's symmetric. Not a right angle triangle, though right angle triangle would be easier to use. Just put a line straight through here now, and we have here a right angle triangle. And if we can find this angle, that will be helpful. So, we've got to this stage at the moment. We need to draw out our right angle triangle. If we go for the top one, we've got the right angle here. We've got this is root 300 
divided by 2 at angles here. This is the top half of this bit, so that is 5. We've got an opposite over here, because that's where the angle is. Hypotenuse here, so it's going to be a sine question again. Sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse. So sine of x is going to be 5 divided by half of root 300. So, if you'd only calculate it, I'm doing 5 divided by, I'll put the bottom bit in brackets, root 300 divided by 2, close brackets. So I'm getting 0.577 for sine of x. If I now shift sign that, I'm getting 35.26 for x. Now remember, x isn't what I really want. I need x and another x. I need the full angle there. So the answer I've just got, I now need to multiply that by 2. If I multiply that by 2, I've got 70.5 degrees. And that's that question finished.